Hey guys, welcome to my What I Eat in a Day 27 Weeks Pregnant Edition. I'm starting off today with a cheesy tomato and spinach scramble with one slice of wholemeal toast and half an avocado. It was recently requested by my GP that I mixed up my pregnancy diet due to my medical needs. I had some blood tests done and it showed that I was low in vitamin D proteins, iron and B12 so I need to change up my diet and make sure that I'm getting everything included. Alongside changing up my diet I'm also being supplemented with iron, B12 injections and a seven week course of high dosage vitamin D. Of course one of the main things that I want to be doing in the morning is hydrating so I'm having some of this lemon water on ice just to get some good antioxidants in and like I said hydrate as much as I can. Alongside the water I'm having an orange juice. This is to help me with my iron supplements so that I can absorb it and of course taking iron can have some different effects on your body so you need a lot of vitamin C and a lot of fibre in your diet too. Here you will see I'm taking some baby aspirin. This is standard in pregnancy. I take 150 milligrams per day. I'm of course not sure if it's the same dosage for every pregnancy, so don't quote me on that. Of course, I have to have my morning cup of tea. And this morning I was having some refrigerators just to give it a little bit of that protein boost. For lunch, I am going with one of these quinoa salads. I've made these many times. They're filled with nutrition and they're super yummy. This time, however, I did include some sweet potato and I have to say it was really yummy. I do like to go with different types of veg. Today I've gone for kale, peppers, red onion and of course the sun-dried tomatoes. They're a must-have. I do let the quinoa cool after it's been cooked just so it has more of a green texture. I stir-fry the veggies together apart from the sun-dried tomatoes and once they're cooled down, I do tip them all into a bowl and mix them all together. I did choose to add a handful of spinach too because I felt like I needed the extra iron in there. Once I've added the sun-dried tomatoes in, I do take some of the olive oil from the jar that they came out of and add that into the mix. I take two tablespoons. This obviously is dependent on how much you are making. Then I add in a tablespoon of lemon. or oh, This is purely to taste and then mix it all together if you probably noticed as well i added a little pepper into mine and a little extra lemon juice along with my quinoa salad i'm going to have a glass of this mango and passion fruit vitamin d fortified water it does have two servings per bottle and it's only five calories per serving as well, which is fantastic. So I am filming this video on a Sunday and of course on a Sunday it is standard that we have a roast dinner. So today I'm going to have one chicken fillet with some broccoli, carrots, sprouts, cabbage, roast potatoes and a Yorkshire pudding and of course that luscious gravy. So my husband and children are having a casserole for dinner but I went in for the chicken to add in that protein and I also chose to steam my vegetables just to keep them nice and colourful and filled with nutrition whilst they like to have theirs boiled and I just felt that wasn't right for me at this moment in time so I chose my steamer. I really feel like this is such a beautiful plate to look at. I'm one of those people that like to have the rainbow on my plate. If it's colourful, you know that it's going to be nutritional and I think it's just beautiful to look at. So normally I would go with water alongside my dinner but tonight I have treated myself to a small cup of this decaf cola and of course I have to take my second iron supplement of the day 
So I'm going to have a little bit of this orange juice, but I'm going to give the rest of the carton to my youngest Madison as she really, really does love them. So it's been a little while since we had dinner and I'm going in to have one of these light and free Greek style yogurt in the flavour, sticky toffee flavour. And of course I wouldn't be me if I didn't finish off my evening with a nice hot cup of Yorkshire decaf tea. And that about wraps up what I'm going to be having today. I hope you liked this video, of course if you did give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you as a part of our YouTube family. Catch you all in the next one, guys. Bye for now. Can we drop this? Our time can pass us by this bond. Makes us stronger.